to you. Swear to be true to the Treehouse Club, and if anyone should ask you to join the Ninth Street Club, I will laugh in their faces. Patricia Rosemont is one of Canada's most successful and recognized artists, famous for works in which willful imagination asserts itself despite convention and self-explanation. Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com, I'm your host Ashley, and today I had the chance to sit down with the brilliant filmmaker herself to talk about what it was like to work with an Academy nominee and her film career. So Patricia, can you tell us a little bit about your latest film, Kit Kittredge? It's about a little girl in 1934, Abigail Breslin, who um, deals with the Depression, the Great Depression of 1930s in, in Cincinnati. And um, she has to confront something that many people around the world, except wealthy Westerners, have to face, which is reduced circumstances, like their family loses a car, their family has no phone, their family has to take in borders. It's a family film. It's not just a kid's film. Parents can go to and feel really engaged emotionally. And What was it like working with Abigail, who's such a versatile actress? She's a very, very thoughtful little girl and very... Um, dreamy in her own world when you sometimes when you're giving her direction you're thinking is she hearing me and then click 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 it's all you know she's registering it all and putting it in there and it has a gravity sometimes it's really heartbreaking sometimes you look I'd freeze on a frame while I was editing and think that girl is a thousand thousand years old what was it like working with like a family film, producing a family film, opposed to normally your characters are very romantic? The approach I took making a family film was not to change my style. The big difference is that you've got a child as your central character and you don't use words that are beyond their abilities and you don't have sexual innuendo and you don't scare the wits out of them, you know, just make it gentle thoughtful, keep the pace up, keep it moving. So you studied English, philosophy and journalism. How did you make your way into filmmaking? I saw a couple of films by Ingmar Bergman. He was a Swedish filmmaker who's um, a real poet and it wasn't just about telling that snappy story and hooking you early. It was, it's like a poem and it's like a dream and it's, um, and I was immediately attracted to somebody who could such a different language. It's like a type of music you'd never, I'd never heard before. I tend to think if you're focused on the technology, um, you are missing the point. The, the technology is a pencil. You can write whatever you want with that pencil. It's funny that you get into family films. What do you ever want to do? A comedy, a horror? I am interested in surprising myself and staying alive all the time. I only choose projects that I think Oh, that would be an interesting challenge. Do I think I think I could do that? It would be exciting to put this and this together and do that. Thank you so much. What's next? Uh, <laughs> something beautiful. Something that will blow, blow your mind. 